The Milwaukee Bucks have reinvented their offense under new head coach Mike Budenholzer. The Bucks have embraced five out offense and spacing concepts. Let's take a look at how Milwaukee constructs their alignment, penetrates the defense by creating an advantage using a simple away screen, and executes by finding spot up shooters and attacking closeouts. As the ball advances in the alley, Milwaukee's five out construction is clear. The defense must cover the width and depth of the court and the middle is open for cuts and drives. Brooke Lopez screens away from the top. Pat Connaughton curls when trailed, penetrating the defense and drawing two defenders. Advantage created. Connaughton executes the correct decision and finds Lopez for a big advantage three. Another away screen from Lopez. This time Malcolm Brogdon curls into the lane. Note how the Bucks always fill the corners at rim depth. The Bucks penetrate with the pass and Brogdon's curl attracts all three Charlotte perimeter defenders. The result, another big advantage three for Lopez. Here's a look at how the Bucks create penetration if the defender goes under the away screen and the action creates no penetration or advantage. Lopez screens away and the Knicks go under the screen. The action flows into spread ball screen. To gain the penetration, Lopez immediately turns into a ball screen for Chris Middleton. The Knicks switch the screen and Middleton creates space to attack the advantage for another penetrate and kick three. From five out, the Bucks also use the away screen when swing reversing the ball to the second side. Here the Bucks swing it and Giannis screens away for Brogdon. Brogdon curls into the catch as the Clippers trail. Once again, the Bucks will penetrate with the pass. The lowest Clippers defender feels compelled to help over on Brogdon's drive. Brogdon finds John Henson holding the corner with a jump skip. Henson buries the big advantage three. The Bucks transition to five out once again. Here's a swing reversal to the second side, followed by a Giannis screen away for Eric Bledsoe. Damian Lillard trails the screen, and Bledsoe's penetration attracts one, two, three Portland defenders. The Bucks have penetrated with the pass while creating a catch with an advantage for Giannis. The Greek freak attacks Lillard's closeout into a bit of a crowded lane, but collapses all five Portland defenders. When the ball goes in the paint, but doesn't get to the rim, it then goes out. The result, another spot up for Lopez. One last swing reversal as Giannis advances the ball and initiates the ball movement to the second side as the Bucks find their five out construction. Henson screens away for Giannis, but the Pacers go under the screen and Giannis has no advantage on the catch. The show must go on, so Henson then turns into the ball screen for Giannis. The Pacers switch the screen and Giannis creates space for a downhill attack that will put the Pacers into help side rotation and leave them vulnerable to the jump skip for a big advantage three. Here Giannis leads the break from the center lane. He passes to the wing and screens away for Bledsoe who curls into the catch. This time, a New York corner defender rotates and Bledsoe finds Lopez open for the corner three. Giannis advances in the center lane, backs it out, and the Bucks get to five out. Upon the pass to the wing, Giannis screens away for Bledsoe. The Denver trail allows for penetration with the pass once again as Bledsoe curls and the Bucks hold the corners wide and deep. Four Denver Nuggets collapse, including Nikola Jokic, who helps off Lopez. Bledsoe delivers the accurate jump skip and Lopez shoots on the catch.